Hi guys, today we're reviewing two LEGO Winter sets that kind of belong together. It's the LEGO Winter Christmas Train Ride and the LEGO Christmas Town Square. So together they kind of make a town square for your village and I, I, I like that idea. So um, each set comes with three minifigures. Um, for the train ride that is a passenger. If it will focus, focus please, there we go. So there's a passenger and of course you will have a driver for the train right over here focus there we go there we go so yeah you have a driver for the train and you also get a shopkeeper now, I especially love this shopkeeper because I always like to see this print and you already had that in um, the winter village station but I, I really like this print on the torso so it's always good to have another one of these so I like that. Um, in the town square you will get two kits. Ta -da! And a woman. Because you know, you do need a grown up in your life because otherwise the kids are just gonna rampage. So let's start with the town square. In this set you will get a Christmas tree with sort of a fence around it. Um, it's a very simple build but you know, I, I liked it and it looks good and simple can be good. There's no problem with that. It also has like two tiny Christmas decorations on the front of it. And well, there's some detail and yeah, I think that's that's a good addition. Uh, also, you get a stand with some donuts and coffee. And you actually see these a lot in the Netherlands next to ice skating rinks. So for me, this is a fairly familiar sight. And I kind of like that. We actually call it, if you're interested, Cook and Zopi, which basically means uh, cookies and, well, another word for drinks. So, yeah. Um, you also get, like, a little cart with some mail on it and a present and stuff like that. And a lamppost with a mailbox, which is fairly cute. I really like these options, uh, like these um, additions to the Winter Village uh, because, well... You know, it's not a winter village without being able to send a letter to Santa Claus. And if you don't have the post office, like I do, then this is the next best, best thing. Because the post office has been retired, so it's going to cost a fortune on the internet now. And, well, you know, this, this, this also makes sense. This is a way for Santa to get his letters. I mean, maybe not ideal, walking around with a sled all day. But, you know, it works. And you also get this tiny little snowman. Because it's snowing and... Well, we love to make snow, love to make snowman. Um, in the second set, there is a small train, and I think it's like really cute. It actually drives and stuff, you know. It it does what it's supposed to do, and I think this is like really cute. I mean, it it kind of looks like the winter holiday train, but it's just a tiny bit smaller. And yes, you can see my cat that wagging her tail over here because my cat loves being in the shot, and I can't get her out. So yeah. Um. Well, but it kind of looks like a smaller train, for a, a smaller version of the winter holiday train. And I, I, I think that's that's kind of cute. I mean, th it's supposed to be sort of a ride for kids, I think. And it's also, of course, where the driver goes. So he can sit nicely over here. See, it, can, it works fine. And then you also have a kid who can sit in the back while not really sit because she's a kid. And Lego kids, for some reason, can't sit because their legs are too short. But, you know, it works. It looks nice. It works. Um, what I don't really like is, uh, of course, you have to buy a ticket to the train. And you get, like, these yellow tiles for that. are supposed to be train tickets, I think. Because you don't have any other train tickets. And, you know, it works. But we've seen some actual printed tiles in uh, the Winter Village Station. And those look just, like, really, really good. So I'm a bit sad that they didn't put those in instead of, well, this. So, yeah, that, that could have been better. Um, the, uh, the other parts of this set are two little stands, which are nice. Uh, this one probably just whoop, you were turned around. This one gives you, like, sweets and stuff, because who doesn't love sweets? And this one gets you the train tickets for the ride. So that makes sense. And again, with the yellow tile thing, and I still don't really like that, but yeah, sure. It works. And then there's also some smaller stuff like a table, picnic table, always useful. A tree because you know we never have enough trees. 
and a lamppost with a map and a seat. And I especially love this map. Let's see if I can bring that into focus. Can I? Yeah, I can. There we go. So I, I kind of like this map because there's like so much detail on it. I mean, this looks amazing. It looks nothing like my actual winter village, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I, I just love this edition. I think it looks really, really good. So yeah, that's what basically in these sets. Um, I, I, I kind of like them. Let's go out of there. I, I like them. I think they're really great additions for, for your winter village. I mean, and they're like in, well, in Europe, they're 10 euros each. So that's not too expensive. So it's, it's, it, and it really brings some life to your, to your village. Especially with the train ride, I love that train ride. But also the Christmas tree, because it's a winter village and you know, we need Christmas trees. And just some little stands and stuff, it, it brings some action in there. And I, I really like that, I mean, it's just the stuff that any, any winter village needs. So, yeah, I think this is actually a really nice set. Yeah, so if you uh, get a chance to buy this, I'd say definitely do. Now, before you click my, click my video away, hold on a second, because I actually have some fun news for you guys. Today is December 5th in the, uh, and in the Netherlands that means, well, it's Sinterklaas. Uh, that's a holiday that is kind of like Christmas. Uh, all of the country kids are getting presents from Sinterklaas today. And Sinterklaas is basically Santa Claus. Basically. And, well, I thought, who am I to not join in in this fun tradition? So, I'm hosting a giveaway. A while back you get, uh, could get these Santa Clauses in shops here, but they were very limited. So if you couldn't get one or just want something for free, because who doesn't? This is basically your chance. Um, I'm giving away two of these sets. I will get the price tags off, don't worry. And they kind of mismatched them, but you know, you could have picked a better spot to put it on there, but sure. But I'm giving away two of these sets for to you guys for free. So what do you have to do? Well, first of all, check out my Instagram. There's going to be a link in the description. And then you will have to find the giveaway post. Um, you have to comment on the post, not like it, comment, to get a chance to win one of these sets. And, well, that's it. Of course, there are some tiny rules, because what's life without rules? Um, well, first of all, to make sure I won't have to spend a fortune on, sp on shipping, you do have to live within the European Union to have a chance of winning these sets. So if you live in the United States, I'm sorry. Maybe in the future, but right now that's just way too expensive. Um, also, commenting twice on the post is not going to increase your chances. You can also only win one set, so two people have a chance to win it. And I will t t pick two r uh, winners randomly on December 15th and will announce them on Instagram. Um, the winners will get a direct message so I can get your address and will send the set to you. So, good luck everyone! Um, Make sure to join in if you want to win one of these free sets. And I will see you soon.